Hello friends, I am Shushant Raghavan. Welcome to Technical and Quality Session. For understanding the technical requirements and quality standards in clothing industry, making a sustainable garment, I have good practical experience in the apparel manufacturing sector. My skills are CAD pattern making, sample development, technical requirements, and measuring quality performance. Today's session is about fabric defects in knitted fabric in garment manufacturing industry. For more sessions like this, do like and subscribe to my channel. Now let's begin the presentation. Defects in knitted fabric. In the textile industry, a lot of faults are observed in knit fabric, from knitting process to dyeing and finishing. These types of fabric faults decrease the total quality of the knit fabric, which ultimately creates a significant impact on the final product. So an apparel QC should have sufficient knowledge about all the knit fabric faults and its causes. Faults in the knit fabric can be formed at three stages, from its manufacturing to dyeing and finishing. Defects seen during knitting the fabric. Yarn dust contamination. Causes caused due to the presence of dead fibers or other elements being present in the staple spun yarn like dyed fibers or husk etc. Sometimes adjacent machine fibers can fly to the fabric and get embedded in it. Remedies Using yarns with rich fiber mixing leads to the occurrence of a lesser number of dead fibers in the fabric. In the blow room, tight control in cotton mixing needs to be ensured to prevent any foreign matter mixing. Partitioning machines, especially spinning and knitting with plastic or net curtains to prevent contamination. Set off Causes It can occur after a drop stitch when an empty needle with closed latch runs into the yarn feeder and removes the yarn out of the hook of the next needles. Yarn breakage Remedies Make sure all the latches of needle are closed with feeding yarn after a drop stitch. Maintain proper yarn tension. Bariness Horizontal stripes or streaks of uniform or uneven width visible in the fabric. Causes Bariness occurs when the yarn is at high tension or there is a high level of variation in the thread count in the fabric. This happens when several yarn lots get mixed. Remedies Make sure that there is a limited count variation in every lot not higher than plus or minus 0.3. For this ensure yarns being used belong to the same lot and there is a consistent yarn tension across all the feeders in the machine. Loop mark or drop stitches Causes Defects in needle If yarn is not properly fed during loop formation that is not properly laid onto the needle hook. Take down mechanism too loose. Insufficient yarn tension. Badly set yarn feeder. Remedies Needle should be straight and proper feeding of yarn during loop formation. Clean needle, latch and hook. Correct take up of the fabric and correct yarn tension. Needle and sinker lines Causes Needle lines are caused due to bend needles that is bend latches, needle hooks or needle stems that form distorted stitches. Sinker lines are formed due to bend or worn out sinkers or if the sinkers are too tight. Remedies Replacing bend or worn out sinkers and defective needles along with cleaning of the sinker grooves by removing fibers. Oil spot Causes When oil leaks through the needle on the knitted fabric and makes a spot. Remedies Ensure that oil does not pass on to the fabrics. Use good quality knitting oil which can be removed. Well maintenance as well as proper oiling. Mix yarn Causes If yarn contains foreign fiber, it remains in the finished fabric even after finishing. When lot corn mixing occurs. Remedies By avoiding mixing of lot count. Awareness in production. Drop stitches or holes. Causes Cost due to high yarn tension, yarn over or underfeed or due to the incorrect gap between the dial and cylinder rings while knitting. Malfunctioning needles might also cause drop stitches. Holes are the results of yarn breakage or yarn cracks. 
remedies to ensure hole free knit fabric make sure that there is a uniform yarn tension on all the feeders and the gap between cylinder and dial should be accurately adjusted to suit the loop size lycra out in the fabric causes breakage of lycra yarn and uneven tension of lycra lycra guide roller block or jam remedies maintain proper yarn tension ensure smooth running of the guide roller change defective needle yarn missing causes yarn breakage due to any reason and not pass through the yarn guide it may occur due to tension variation we can remedies yarn guide and tensioner must be used smooth running of feeder star mark causes yarn tension variation during production high rpm of the machine cylinder buckling of the needle latch low gsm fabric production remedies maintain same yarn tension during production maintain proper rpm of the machine cylinder range should be up to 23 spirality spirality is when after washing garment gets twisted and the seams of the garment get displaced from the side seam causes using i twist per meter hosiery yarn or uneven fabric tension on the machine if the feeding of the fabric at stenter calendar and capacitor are on uneven rates remedies the yarn twist should be as per predetermined twist per meter defects seen during dyeing the fabric uneven dyeing causes inadequate scoring of the gray fabric correct ph value not maintained water hardness improper neutralization dye dosing soda dosing improper migration and leveling agents remedies score the gray fabric thoroughly to remove all the impurities from the fabric proper neutralization dye dosing soda dosing proper migration and leveling agents dye spot in the fabric causes this defect is often caused by contamination with concentrated dye stuff or dyeing agents colored spots due to dye deposits inside the machine remedies clean the gray fabric thoroughly to remove all the impurities from the fabric before dyeing and use appropriate leveling agents to prevent patchy dyeing pay attention to cleanliness of the machine pilling causes abrasion due to the contact with rough surfaces fabric friction in the tumble dryer rough dyeing processes and abrasive machine surfaces reprocessing of the fabric is also a major cause of pilling remedies avoid using the tumble dryer control shrinkage by maximum fabric relaxation and overfeeding in the processing regularly inspect the fabric contact points on all the machines for any rough or sharp surfaces soda spot causes improper dosing of soda remedies proper dosing of soda chemical spot causes improper mixing of chemical weak chemical remedies proper mixing of chemical use appropriate chemical defect seen during finishing the fabric bow skew in the fabric causes uneven distribution of tension across the fabric width while dyeing or finishing the fabric remedies bowing can be corrected by reprocessing the fabric by feeding it from the opposite end a special machine mellow web straightener is also available for correcting the bowing in the knitted fabrics slitting fault in the fabric causes it is caused due to operator carelessness remedies operators have to slit fabric through slitting mark uneven brushing in the fabric causes roll up pins not proper soft too much pressure of the cylinder roller remedies check pins use softener uniform motion rpm should be maintained crease mark causes improper motion of padder improper fabric movement remedies proper motion of padder 
ensure smooth running of fabric use anti creasing agents silicon spot causes long time deposit of solution improper mixing of silicon remedies proper mixing of silicon maintain the correct ph value before application line mark causes this mark are caused due to the excessive pressure of the roller remedies pressure of roller should be maintained burning effect causes due to wrong temperature and awareness of operator remedies maintain proper temperature manpower training conclusion unlike woven fabric yarn strength in knit fabric is of secondary importance in the quality management of the fabric as the load that yarn undergoes during knitting is lower than that in weaving but knit fabric yarn must have elasticity and should be even with no thick and thin places to ensure quality and prevent frequent needle breaks yarns with low friction and even moisture content are hence the preferred choices when using knit fabrics or when involved in knitting processes keep in mind the above described defects with their causes and remedies to ensure required parameters are been met and the fabric thus obtained is of the demanded quality thank you for watching for more sessions like this do like and subscribe to my channel please comment your valuable thoughts and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified when i post a new presentation bye have a good day